Suppose, for instance, you want to read a book and you want to use this lamp to give you the light. There is an electrical cord that goes from the wall socket to the lamp. When you turn on the lamp, that lets electrical energy flow through the cord, through the switch, up the lamp, and through the light bulb, and there it is changed into light, a different kind of energy. And of course, that's a kind of energy that you can use to help you read. So what the lamp really does is take one kind of energy, electricity, and change it into another kind of energy, light. And that's what happens most of the time when you use energy. In fact, that's what it usually means to use energy. It means to take one kind of energy and change it into another kind, a kind you can use. There is a name for a thing, like this lamp, that changes energy from one form to another. It's called an appliance. Here's another kind of appliance, a car. You put gasoline in the car. The gasoline contains chemical energy. When the car's engine burns the gasoline, it changes the chemical energy in it to kinetic energy or movement, and that's what makes the car go. There are many, many kinds of appliances, of course, and usually they seem to work just fine. There is a big problem with all appliances, though, and that's this. Every time any appliance changes some form of energy into another form that you want to use, it also ends up changing some of the energy into a form that you don't want. Usually, the form of energy that you don't want from an appliance is heat.